testimony considered by the same standard as all the other witnesses. Do you understand those rights? Yes. You understand the binary plea of guilty that you're giving up or waiving each and every one of those rights? Yes. You understand you're giving up the right to appeal any harmful error that I may have committed to a higher court? Yes. Are you presently under the influence of any alcohol or drugs? No. Do you understand what we're doing here today? Yes. Do you understand the maximum sentence involved in this case is up to six months in the county jail and or a thousand dollar fine? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone threatened, coerced, or intimidated you in any way to get you to enter this plea? My lawyer. <laughs> Has anyone promised you anything other than the sentence set forth on the record that I would impose, which is the minimums? Anybody promised you anything else in order to get you to enter this plea? No. Are you in this plea of guilty because you are guilty? Yes. Are you satisfied with the representation of your attorney? I love him very much. Has he answered all of your questions? Yes. Has he gone over any possible defenses that you would have to the case? Yes. Do you need any more time to consider this matter? No. Mr. Compton, do you stipulate that the state can prove the allegations set forth in the arrest docket? Yes. Right, based upon that, I do find there is a factual basis for the plea. I further find that the plea of guilty is freely and voluntarily entered with a full understanding of its nature and consequences. Mr. Loveland, based upon your plea of guilty, I'm going to adjudicate you guilty. I'm going to sentence you to 12 months of probation with the following special conditions. Number one, that you pay $500 fines plus costs. It's a total of $916. Also order that you pay $50 cost of prosecution. $50 public defender lien, $50 public defender fee, or that you pay $20 to crime prevention fund and $20 to crime stoppers, and that you pay $50 to the Clay County Sheriff's Office. I will give you up to 11 months to pay all that in equal monthly installments. Uh, now I have to go down to the next number, number six. You're also required to do 50 hours of community service. I'm allowing you to do that at the rate of at least five hours per month, and that you complete those community service hours within a period of 10 months. Number seven, your driver's license is suspended for a period of six months. Number eight, you're to attend and successfully complete the DUI school and a victim impact panel. I'm going to give you up to six months to do that. Number nine, and your vehicle is impounded for a period of ten days. Mr. Loveland, you have 30 days to appeal this judgment and sentence if you feel like it's an illegal sentence. If you cannot afford an attorney for that purpose, the court will appoint one to represent you. Do you understand that, sir? I do. All right, if you'll step over to the bailiff, he'll fingerprint you, and then you'll meet with the probation officer. I have a question. Do you write all that down for them? Like all those? It's, it's written down. <laughs> <laughs> I would not remember that. I feel like I'm forgetting something. It's written yeah. down. You, you, have, you have some. That's what I do in court every day. Okay? Now, all these rights, did y'all pick them out as I, was, as I was telling them? The right to a trial by jury. Okay? The right to a presumption of innocence. The right to remain silent. The right to call witnesses. The right to confront and cross-examine witnesses. All those things that were up there on the board, we do now. Okay? Yes, sir? i got a brother that's on his third DUI. Is he going to get his ID back for his driver's license? It's going to be at least a 10-year suspension. Depending upon if it's within a 10-year period, he's going to get at least a 10-year suspension if he gets convicted. Within like two years. He's probably going to jail for a while. Yeah. He's going to jail for at least 30 days. I can tell you that. Yeah. All that money in the house, how much does that use well, now that was the minimums on that, 916 plus another three or $400. So that's $1,200 in fees and costs. You pay $50 a month cost of prosecution. I mean, $50 uh, probation fees, so that's another 600 So now we're up to eighteen or 1900 okay? Then you have to pay to go to DUI school, which is probably another couple hundred dollars, okay? Um, you have to do the 50 hours of community service. Um, and then your insurance is going to go up. Then you're going to get your license reinstated. Um, all that. Please, let me just tell you this. This is what I always end with. If you're going to drink, please don't drive. Stay at your friend's house, wherever it is. I walk home. Or walk home. I can tell you the most, one of the most tragic. All right, listen. Listen up. One of the most tragic stories I ever heard was one Sunday morning, early in the morning, I got called out as a prosecutor to where a young man who was 19, he had just graduated from high school. He was either 18 or 19. And had wrapped his car around the telephone pole and killed his best friend. Okay? And he had, he had been at a party drinking. They did stay there that night, but they got up real early because they wanted to be home before the parents got up. Okay? And he killed his very best friend in the whole world. And he came in, and then we went around to various high schools and those kind of things. And, uh, you know, he told them, he said, I, 
I was sitting out there a year ago, just like you are today. And I was laughing and goofing and chuckling and knowing this would never apply to me, and here I am today. Now, he got a year in the county jail, and that was only because the victim's mother was begging that he not even be prosecuted. Otherwise, if the victim's family is upset about this, and 99% of the time they are, it just happened to be this was a best friend, and the mother you know, knew both of them, is like 10 years in prison. Okay? That's what the guidelines call for. Please, if you're drinking, just stay there, get sobered up. Please don't drink and drive. I'm telling you, even if you don't hurt anybody, it is not worth it. Those things right there are the minimums, the absolute minimums. And uh, and it goes up from there when you get to a second and third one. Yeah. Have you, have, every, have you ever had anyone actually plead not guilty to a DUI? Sure. Isn't We've it had trials on them. Some get found not guilty, yeah. some get found guilty. Yeah. It's my name, Tim Collins. You don't want to remember it. <laughs> no, like what if I'm like in front of you? Hi, Tim Collins. That's Why probably not? not a good thing. <laughs> probably, but I'd be like, hi. Um, if you get a ticket in Duval, you have to pay your ticket in Duval. Where do Where do you go to pay the ticket? <laughs> Over on Beach Boulevard. Beach Boulevard. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, I can tell you this, and a lot of people don't realize this, if you get three suspended licenses within a five-year period, not only could you go to jail for a year on each one, okay, but if you get three of those within a five-year period, you automatically lose your driving license for five years. So if you got a suspended license, get it back, okay? Pay whatever fines and costs you got to pay, go to whatever school you got to go to, go get it back, because it will cost you big time. I once met a man who went 23 years without a driver's license, and he had never, ever been convicted of DUI. It was simply because he was young, he got tickets, he kept driving, he got his license suspended for five years, over and over and over again. Finally, 23 years later, he finally got his driver's license back. Yeah. What if you like you have a suspended license, you've been passed up three times, and you keep getting it suspended, and they take it away, but you're still driving? Like Then eventually you go to jail. You're going to jail life. I'm not. I have a good license. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you did, or you would have asked. <laughs> Probably Mr. Compton you're talking and about. And I was wondering if that's me. Yeah, I was asking for him. <laughs> what if like, you have like a ticket and you don't...